Extra Minutes. Who was Jackie? Jackie was Mel Bruff. I'd received a phone message when I'd come back from across the road at the shopping centre one day. And it said, uh, contact Jackie. And I rung the number. It didn't register with me who it was. And a woman answered the phone. I said, oh, hi, is Jackie there? And she said, I'll, uh, I'll put him on. And um, before I knew it, Mel Bruff picked up the phone. So this is a nickname for Mel Bruff? He just kept the name. So we, we, we always, Karen and I always referred to Mel Bruff as Jackie from that point on. Uh, because in, I think in one of your texts, it's, it says uh, that you believe Jackie is high up in the party um, and, and has still a considerable amount of influence. Jackie really is Mel Bruff. Correct. And, and there's more controversy surrounding who that Jackie was. Um, there's been plenty of names thrown about, but uh, the reality was it was always Mel Bruff. So why, why in a text refer to she and being high up in the party? Why continue the Jackie line if you knew it was Mel Bruff? Yeah, well, we found it ridiculous in the first place, so we ran with that ridiculous thing. Um, it was the same way that Peter always told me not to call him by his name when we caught cabs. Um, I would catch a cab with Peter and if I ever did, I would have to sit in the front of the cab. And he would always sit behind the driver. And uh, I remember the very first time we caught a cab, I, I said, where are we off to, Peter? And afterwards, when we got out, he said to me to never call him Peter, Slipper, or his real name any time we travel in cabs. So I was always instructed to refer to him as Trevor when we travel. And so we also referred to Trevor in our text messages. There's a certain amount of paranoia involved in politics. He's a strange man. <laughs>